Hi guys, Kim here. Just wanted to show you, I've just been doing up some moulds. Uh, Sharon uh, had shared how she'd done up some moulds on our, on the Aussie Metal Clay support group. So uh, I was just going to show you some of the things that I'd been making, which is these pieces. And, and I'm just going to set these into these moulds here. And just, it's just some of these pieces that I've been been making up, and um, so so you can just see, put little Froggy in a mold. I think he'll be so cute, and that one as well. So, all right. So I'm just going to move this all aside, and um, make him any colour you like. So I'm just going to slide that all off my bench here. As you can see, I've been having a great deal of fun uh, the other thing is that I just I just uh, I made a, a sculpted little teddy or a little koala actually um, which is there and uh, and I wanted to make him um, a, a little mold for him so I did it because he is a double sided so got two sides on him and uh, so what i done is I placed him placed him into there and then put that together and then I've just created a couple little what you would call key nicks there where I've just so I can just line that up so when I go to put some clay in there I just can line up those little slits just there and that will get me the right spot apart from that you could put some keyholes just in one side there just in the sides there um and uh, and then that will come together and lock in together so uh two ways of doing it all right so um just got a bowl here just move my little pieces aside do oil your pieces so just say i'm just going to do so this one for instance um might just start with a little froggy and i've just got a little a little um just some um kitchen spray oil and um, so I've just sprayed that just give him a little oil up I'll just sit him aside just there ready to go so in my bowl I have a little bit of cornstarch and so I've just also then I've just got what you would call either a window glass sealant and I'm just going to squeeze a tiny bit in there because I'm only wanting to do a small amount for this one. So I'll just take that off and set that aside. Um, I'm just going to place a tiny bit of it. Now this is just oil. You can use baby oil. Um, but this is just like kitchen oil. So any olive oil or anything like that that you've got laying around. This time I've decided I'm going to use... A green so I'm just going to pop that in and that's not going to come out I ended up with more of it over my fingers than I ended up over that so I'm just going to take the, the lid off and there you go see I'm ending up with more of it on my fingers There we go. Right. Put that aside. Yep. And more on my fingers and then you can poke a stick with. There you go. Love colouring. I'll be wearing that for another week or more now. Okay, so I just have a little um, stirring stick and then I'm going to pop in just a because of that amount, I'm probably just going to pop in one more spoon on top of the cornstarch. If you choose to wear gloves, go for it. Now this is going to take a bit, so we'll probably speed this section up. So. Now if you have too much cornstarch, pop in a little bit more silicon. If you have not enough and it's sticky then add uh, a bit more cornstarch I 
it does take a bit to come together. You can get your hands right in there with some gloves if you choose to. See, it's just starting to come together now, <coughs> and the smell is not very good at all. It goes often about around about five minutes, five between five and ten minutes. So you don't have a huge amount of time, but enough to get it um, mould and get it done. silicon to that at least I've got a nice a nice little crumb mess there so that's good so I'm only just gonna add a little bit more You can. It's probably is best to work near a uh, open window. This sort of window does get a bit much. Right, so I'll see if this comes back together again. And then we've got to start to come in here. Let's see if I can pick that all up. Start to work that through. All right, so I'll set that bowl aside and then just start to work that in. <coughs> now with my green fingers. You can either do one of two things, which I have on this, is I actually put a bit of oil on a tile and that will um, stop your clay from, well, your moulding clay from sticking. So, because I only need a small amount for my frog, okay, uh, I do use just a you know, little snake roller just to flatten it out pop that in there okay and just to make it a little bit neat and tidy I'll go a smaller one right here okay take that off and I just slide that over there okay so we've got a nice little a nice little raised edge and everything just there so all right and moving on to the next piece so I just keep repeating that until you use up what you've got. Okay, so again, just spraying that, just wiping it over. 
right, so this is the piece I will slide that off there. I will use, so I'll put that one on. So, squish that one in. Okay, and we'll use that as a, just make it nice and neat and tidy. That's really all it's for. Okay, and I'll just set that one, slide that over there. Moving on. <laughs> You've got to work reasonably, reasonably fast. Because, um, right, so and I'll do then this, this piece next. Add a little bit more. Just rolling it up in a ball so I've got a nice smooth surface. Squash that down and then just push that in. Right, I'll do the next one up and cut that. There we go. Got to set that one aside as well. Now, this one here. Gonna, I can take a little bit more off this one here. Use my tissue blade for that. And then I should have enough just left over just to do the tree. So that's a tree that I made. So these are all the pieces that I, I'd hand sculpt. So, and uh, out of the Aussie metal clay. And, um, now you can I can start to feel this is starting to set now. It's getting it gets a little bit firmer, and um, so I'm just gonna push that down a bit, and then pop that in. Let's turn the stone bit around. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna push that edges up onto that, so I've got a nice. And get that nice full nice texture on that and then all I'm going to do is cut it off nice and neatly like that and um, I just push that and set that aside there all right so I've only got a tiny bit left so always when you're doing something like this have in mind of something that you've got little that you would like to um, add to it and I've got myself just a little button here so I may as well use the last of the clay well uh, molding clay and just cut that there all right so that's a few pieces and I will just take that off and I will show you it's still it's not set yet so it's still it's still quite soft I'm just gonna Mr. Froggy out. Okay, so we've got that one there. And I said you'll probably want to leave it a little bit longer, but I just wanted to show you. Let me show you just how good the texture is on that. Okay, so that means that you can, you know, it takes the in impressions on it, it comes up fantastic. So I'm really delighted. Um, and that cost me around about $12 and I've got all of those pieces that you've seen in the beginning of the video and I think I'm only about halfway through so I'm going to get another amount, that amount again uh, of what you've seen in the beginning of the video so there you go, that's probably a good dozen, uh, two dozen uh, moulds and um, I'm I'm going mold crazy. So all of my sculpting pieces, I'll put them into a mold. So thanks guys for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'll just take that out and show you. Oh, that one's not quite set enough. That one is. There we go. Okay. All right. So thanks for joining me again. And if you haven't subscribed before, do so, so you can
be notified of any of the uh, new updates uh, and any of the new videos that I get and do. So have a great time. This is a lot of fun and uh, they're really, really flexible and really strong. They're just, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm sold. So thanks to Sharon for um, sharing that on our uh, support page and uh, it was a great tip and uh, and certainly a, uh, great to play with and the, definitely the cheapest way to add more uh, textures and moulds to your collection. All right, guys. Bye for now. Okay, one one of the little tips that I've actually found is that when I put I had the frog in the mould, okay, and I took it out and I realised, oh, I could see right through it. So what I did is I got another bit of the clay and literally just um, left the frog in there, turned it upside down and then um, placed a, a little strip on the back and it's nice um, and firm so there's no issues so now it um, so if you if you do end up pushing right through to the other side uh, just that's just a great uh, opportunity to do so now with the teddy with the 3d where you can do you know, the both sides of him you can put in the little toothpicks uh, there and there to create uh, a little little dots there which once you put that together and compress that after that side's dry and then put it together once this is almost dry uh, that will give you a couple of keys they call little keys that you can place that together but apart from that um, and just uh, adding just a couple of nicks on it will just suffice as well it cuts really really easy with scissors and um, yeah and it works perfectly for that as well so that's your little tip with this if you do bore right through all right guys talk to you soon with some more tips and do subscribe let us know if there's anything else that you can think of thanks for joining me again see you soon bye